Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your new gaming edition. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On generally nerdy. Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we can get into the news, guys, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's sponsor is the Your Mom Thinks I'm Advertiser Friendly shirt. Looks a little something like this. And it's the shirt that says, I don't do this for the ads. I do this for your mom. You can get this shirt over on the Teespring store, teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the only place to get the your <clears throat> that is the only place to get the your mom thinks I'm advertiser friendly shirt. It's sponsored this entire week. Uh I had to do shirt laundry, so I don't have my regular shirt on. I wish I had a your mom shirt, but uh I'm, I'm, I'm too poor to buy my own merch. <laughs> Again, you can get this shirt over on teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. Now, let's get into the news. Okay, so the last actually two talking points are going to be Fallout. But first, we're talking about Devil May Cry 5. Uh, this is one of the industry's worst kept secrets at this point. We're probably going to see something at E3 in uh, next week, I believe. Um, but we just had a leak from Austral Austrian, not Australian, Austrian games retailer Gameware. Uh, they just posted that there's going to be, they posted a listing rather. So it didn't have a price on it yet, just said to be announced, but it had a listing for both an Xbox and a PlayStation 4 version of the game. Um... I, I don't know how much of a leak that is, but again, we know it's happening, so why should this be really news? Maybe maybe there's a lot of fans that don't want it to come out on the Xbox because basically every other uh, Devil May Cry game has been exclusive to the PlayStation console at the time, but I feel like they did a Devil May Cry pack for the Xbox when the the rights came out. I don't know what it is, but it's it's traditionally they've come out on PlayStation first, so this could be the first time it dual launches on both systems. So uh, that's all we've got on that. And then we're gonna move over to Fallout next. First up is Fallout 76. Um, yes. This was announced this week and everyone is speculating about what it could be about and they're trying to de decode all of the stuff in the teaser trailer, which if you haven't seen it yet, link in the description. Also, link in the description to a guy named Oxhorn. Uh, if you are a Fallout fan and you do not have and you do not follow Oxhorn on the YouTubes, um, then I just did you a favor. There's a link to his, he did a video because the dude knows his Fallout lore, and he breaks it down really, really well because Bethesda is going to stay inside the lore that they've already established. Like, they're pretty good about doing stuff like that. They haven't really broken lore once it's something that they did. They broke lore for Fallout, but that was before they owned Fallout. Uh, that some of that, uh, some of those things were set up. So anything that they broke is about 99% uh, stuff that was from the previous owners of the IP. Uh, so Fallout 76 is going to take place in Vault 76. We know these things. Um, again, check out Oxhorn's video. He's a lot more eloquent about the topic than I am, but it's, it's really interesting. 
now let's talk about rumors. There was a post on Reddit, which was really just a repost from 4chan, so really take this with a grain of salt. But uh, the, before we got that, actually, there's be there's been a rumor that this Fallout is going to be an online Fallout. Which, when they did that for Elder Scrolls, kind of dramatically changed the, the franchise, at least for that one game. But... It sounds like, if, if anything in this leak is true, it sounds like Bethesda has learned their lesson. So, in the leak, it, it states, and these are just bullet points, um, I will put a link to the leak to the leak in the description, the Reddit version, not the 4chan version, just because I don't know how YouTube feels about 4chan, so whatever. Um, so, first on the list is that it is still going to be an RPG. Even though there's going to be, apparently, going to be online elements, there is still going to be an RPG. It is still going to be an RPG. That's without debate. Uh, voiced protagonist will be optional. You can turn the voice on or off. I would imagine you'll set that at the beginning of the game. Um, there will be a lot more dialogue options. So, again, it sounds like Bethesda is listening to Fan Outcry. The skills system will go through a dramatic overhaul from Fallout 4. Uh, rebuilding will be heavily emphasized, so a lot more settlements is, are going to factor into the story. And alongside those settlements are going to be more meaningful side quests. So instead of it just spawning the same crap over and over and over again, there's going to be side quests that actually you're actually accomplishing things it sounds like i uh, don't know if they're going to affect the major story or not but you know there is that um also and this is something that oxhorn touches on in his video the the time period is going to be shortly after the great war so very shortly matter of fact 25 years to be exact again oxhorn breaks that down for you um that this means that there's going to be police officers and military and other veterans of the war ish of before the bombs dropped that are still around and it means that there's not going to be any super mutants uh that's another thing that oxhorn touches on is because of the time frame that those two things are likely going to be uh in this in the game uh, the main story will be vault focused. An example of a major player in the story is an I and I'm reading directly, an Irish ghoul who acts as one of the game's five companions. So there's going to be five total companions throughout the course of the game, um, and you'll get a ghoul. It will be one of them. He married Stanislas Bronze's daughter, um, and then another potential ally or major antagonist, depending on the choice tree that you take. Uh, details former U.S. Army captain who compares himself to Hannibal of Carthage. Uh, there's going to be a lot more of the Lovecraftian, um, the, the children, what was it, Children of the Bomb, I think is what they called themselves. Not Probably not that group specifically, but something along those lines. Uh, again, no super mutants. There's going to be some lore changes, though I feel like this is going to be not changes, again, to Bethesda's lore, but more creating the backstory to lead better into Bethesda's lore instead of relying on Fallout 1 and 2. Um, and then the skills, because we didn't have skills, we just had the, the special uh, gift or the, whatever the special system was in Fallout 4. Skills are back. So again, it sounds like they're listening to their fans. Uh, that's all we can really talk about right now. Those are the rumors. I, again, if we get half of those, I, I feel like I'm going to be super excited about it. Because at th the likelihood of me being able to play this game online is slim to none. Because again, as we've said before, I can't really play online because my connection at home is crap. And I'm too poor <laughs> to, to make it better. So... Uh, I am stuck playing single player mode and or uh, occasionally when I can get the connection to work I can play uh, online but that's those instances are few and far between. So if there's a single player RPG element to this I'm going to be super stoked because it's more Fallout. Uh, and then uh, staying in the Fallout vein just moving over to the mod community remember we talked two weeks ago about Fallout New California the New Vegas mod that's a, almost a decade in the making. 
Well, it took them an extra week, but there is now an official release trailer. The official release date is October 23rd, which will be, again, the 10 year anniversary. The trailer, you can find a link to in the description, looks pretty freaking awesome. Uh, the main plot is done. So it, the, the primary story is done. Uh, what they said in their release is, they're just working on all of the side quest elements. They, they're a very small team and they haven't had the personnel to program all of the side questing bits and, and to write the stories and so on and so forth. So now that their main quest is done, now they have time to do all the branch off stuff. So again, October 23rd for Fallout New California. Fallout 76, we are going to get a lot of information, I'm sure, at E3 this year. And that is where we're ending gaming this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, there's a website, generallynerdy.net. You can go... Join the conversation there. Uh, find the social media links. Find the store links so you can go get your nerdy swag. There is also a Patreon if you want to support the channel a little more directly. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the place that you can join for just a dollar a month. There are higher tiers where you get more stuff, but you get quite a bit for just that dollar. So go check out Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you subscribe? If you like this episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before you click it, before you do any of the stuff, guys, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>